Grand Rising. Happy Monday, y'all. It is the 3rd of April. I am so thankful that God has brought me here to see a new month. It is the 3rd of April. We're already in April. Wow. I just am happy that I made it. And I'm happy you made it. So, I have been on a little break. Last week for me was exhausting but great. I had to take a rest and it, I had to take a break. I had to take a break, literally, um, and just be free with myself and relax and just enjoy just the fact that I can do that. And sometimes we don't just take a chill pill sometimes you got to take a chill pill so I took a chill pill last week and I just embraced that I relaxed I watched some of my shows that I enjoy and I literally chilled in my room literally I did and I it was like a hotel week so that's what I call it I was just like literally like in my own den in my den I call it my Shira den and so I just relaxed I did and I needed that because I was feeling a little under the weather and so I just listened to my body and listened to the fact that I needed to take care self-care of myself and so that's what I did that is what I did and you know I'm on a self-love journey honestly I am on a self-love journey there are a lot of things that I'm still learning about me on my walk through life. And every day we have to understand that we are going to learn something new about ourselves if we are open to it. If you are open to challenging yourself, then you will recognize that this is your love journey, your self-love journey. And I encourage everybody to start challenging yourself to doing new things um, and also taking care of you, just being kind to yourself um paying attention to what you need we don't do that a lot and that's what we have to start doing we are too um in our own situations a lot of times i know a lot of people work every day um working in the office i used to work in the office and that's stressful if you are just doing that every day on a day-to-day -day situation where you don't really do much change you got to start doing things to help you um, to motivate yourself to do something different because a lot of times that becomes toxic your environment and you got to release that stuff that you deal with from your day-to-day -day jobs I'm glad that I no longer work in that in the in the office space I have evolved from that so I know that when you do work in the office you need to take self-care um it doesn't matter what you do you need to take self-care you have to take time out for yourself otherwise you will go nuts and you want you might not even recognize that so i'm just encouraging everybody to be about you on your journey every day should be a journey of love for you every day you need to take some type of self-care if it's 30 minutes if it's 15 I don't care you know take that time to love on yourself and embrace you because without you where else are you gonna be you know without God I would be nowhere and I'm so thankful that I have God I have Jesus in my life to carry me through all of my trials and tribulations and to just be a part of my journey on my self-love journey so I just encourage everybody to take time out for yourselves. You need that. You need that. Honestly, you do. Because that's a part of your growth. And so I just encourage everybody to do that. Especially drinking water and eating plenty of vegetables. Eating correct foods on your journey is going to open up your mind. It's going to free you. So when you start paying attention to yourself on your journey you will see what I'm talking about because it's a beautiful thing to love yourself and to be true to yourself so to thine own self be true and that's what I'm going to do with myself today I'm going to continue to give myself self-care 
on my journey of self-love, okay? Because I love me and I love you too and I want you to love yourself more and more every day. Every day, I want you to love yourself to the fullest because you have arrived into this day, into this moment, and this is your life, so seize it. And on that note, that's all I have to say for today. Seize your life, seize yourself, uh, seize your day because I'm going to do that. I'm pulling up into the store and I'm going to get a couple of things for myself today because I love me and I enjoy buying myself things. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I hope whatever you do today, it is worth every bit of it. And I hope you love yourself because God is love and he loves you and so do I. Uh, so again, uh, like I said, seize your day. Carpe diem.